Well guys, let's have a few highlights from last night's live stream and let's begin with Tom who seems to be descending into a whirlpool of bitterness or perhaps a hot tub of bitterness, seeing as this is Big Brother. In this first clip, he's angry because Noki's talking about herself, suggesting that's all she talks about. Now, you won't actually hear Noki talking about herself because it was muted by Birdsong, but you can certainly see Tom's reaction. Guess what's being spoken about right now? What? Guess what Noki's speaking about? Halloween. Himself. Are we bitchy? Yeah. Do you want to be bitchy? We're observant. Yeah, you're observant, mate. What else have we got to do? Yeah. We've been put in here to bitch about what they say. Next, we have a task the housemates were playing, probably set for them by the remaining housemates in Big Brother's secret room, which was name five things you sit on. It starts innocent, it gets dirty towards the end, and Yin Run is a bit lost as to what the dirty joke is, and watch Tom's reaction. If you're anyone, that five like things... Like family fortunes. Yeah, five, five things, things you sit on. Remember to be honest. Oh, be honest, sit on. <laughs> Five specific things people specific. sit on that you sit And once on. you've completed this, you may choose the next housemate, and I will give you what you have to ask them. Okay, oh. let me think. One thing you sit on is a. <laughs> You're doing it right now. You're sitting down. Sofa. Right... Yay! 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 Another thing you sit on is someone's lap. Yay! Yay! Sofa. A third thing you sit on is a horse. Woohoo! <laughs> a fourth thing you sit on is you sit on your laurels. Like you just sit on your like. Rest on you. Oh, isn't my so bad at saying? Scrap that. Start again. A fourth thing you sit on is. I always get mixed up. Uh, you sit on a whoopee cushion. Fair enough. A fifth thing I I could think of a fifth thing. Yeah, I could think of one. I can think of a fifth thing. Think dirty. Make it exciting. Make it exciting. Dirty, but not so exciting. Begins with D and it ends in. Were you fucking joking me? What? What? Well, Olivia's tried to make Matty to make do a dirty joke, and Yimran's gone. But that makes her uncomfortable. Hmm. Oh fuck! Please don't look at that. I'll throw some fucking words to her. Face. Oh, she's smirking. She enjoys that. No. It's okay when Matty says it. He'll be nominating him next. Yeah. You know, we nominate Matty next because he made a dirty joke. Tom seems really devastated that for some reason Yin Run might chuckle at something Matty says, but not something he or Jenkin might say. And I think the reason for that is probably because Tom, along with Paul, made a lot of dirty jokes, which made some of the girls, not all the girls, but some of the girls, feel uncomfortable, made Jordan feel uncomfortable, and maybe that's the real problem here. Finally, in the Tom is bitter section, we have this moment where Noki is talking about Tom, talking about how she felt about Tom, and talking about how their friendship kind of went up and down, and Olivia's also talking about how she had to swallow her pride and say sorry about things. Notice how in Big Brother's secret room, Jordan applauds what Olivia says, and Tom has a completely different reaction. Because, I mean, I don't want to bring it back to people that aren't here, but like, I said yesterday when I was talking about how Tom's made me feel the past few days, that the difference between him and you and Jenkin is that you two have found like a way to speak to me honestly about how you feel and we've come back from that. You told me as well that something that I'm good at that I never knew I was good at till I came here is I, I, I can swallow my pride. That's a big thing. And admit when I'm wrong. That's one of your USPs and I think many people in this house 
the majority of people in this house can't do that. I, I think find that a to lot be very. People don't like confrontation. Yeah. Generally, the reason they don't like confrontation isn't actually because they don't like confrontation. Yeah. It's because they don't enjoy I agree. swallowing their pride and admitting defeat I when they are agree. wrong. I completely agree. That's why it's such a big thing for me when people do it for me. I make an effort to like emphasize how. I believe if Tom, if Tom had done that, he would still be sat yeah. here. He might truly believe what he said. However, if he'd explored the opportunity to like change his mind, his fate would have been different because it was very hard for me to pick him yesterday. You saw that, like, I felt very like hurt by the fact that I had to do that, but he left me with no option. But if he had done what Jenkins had done, Jenkins tried very hard to make me really believe that he'd changed his view. I didn't have to. And when he left, I said to him, thank you for not picking me because it really felt so, like, genuine. validating and genuine because I still thought he could have picked me. On this oh, on the... Yeah. I still... and Him and Jordan, I thought they still could have picked me. It would have been plausible. But to yeah. know that that was genuine, and even you as well, if you not to pick me, that felt very, like, healing because I was like... Could you imagine me sitting next to you holding your hand that you're okay and then be like, I nominate Nucky. That would have <laughs> killed me. Also, the paranoia gets to you and you, make, you have yeah. irrational thoughts in your head. Yeah. I so not... You have to think that everyone is out to backstab yeah. you, which yeah. is a horrible feeling to... I honestly regret all those five things mm. but in a very past tense form yeah absolutely mm. I still yeah. regret them I'm grateful that they all yeah, happened mm. and I'm proud of myself for rectifying yeah. each of those five that's situations. what makes you stand out mm. like you really do swallow your pride a lot in the most like mature and genuine way I never feel like you're doing it to say how much fucking smoke are they blowing each other's, ar each other's asses? Yes, Tom thinks they're all blowing smoke. I really think Tom is, you know, I just think Tom is now basically saying, evict me please. Which is a shame, because he's managed to kind of weasel and dodge his way right into the final week, but I think he's really revealing his true self here. So there we go. We're going to move on now to Olivia's regrets. They had to play a game where they talked about things they regretted, and Olivia had quite a few regrets which she lists. Obviously most of them are muted on the live stream, but we did get this. We had Olivia regretting how she'd been with Noki, regretting how she'd been with Dylan, and then just quickly before they headed to the bedroom, regretting that Trish was evicted. All three in a row here. I regret saying that maybe Noki isn't what she is telling me she is, mm. based on Halloween. Yeah. I regret saying that. I regret a lot of the things that happened that week. I regret saying how much Dylan was annoying me mm. behind his back. Mm. Slay. Mm. Because that's not who I am. Mm. Mm. And I think you all know that's not who I am. Yeah. Mm. Do you think you got caught up in the atmosphere that time of the A hundred percent. And I think I got caught up in seeing his reaction when people called him out for the first time in my life being a bit more of a shallow like a shadow of myself and not wanting to have that conflict normally i'm confrontational but with dylan mm. as a 23 year old versus someone who's 16 oh, yeah. years older than me i never wanted to speak that mm. so i do regret that because i feel like he'll watch that back and think I'm being a bitch and I said it after it happened and I do regret saying how much he annoyed me on multiple occasions to other people instead yeah. of his face and I think going back to what I said is I regret saying that he's doing my tits in via secret coding I regret expressing my feelings towards you to other people as opposed to your face but had I have said it to your face, would we be where we are now? Yeah. Probably not. That feels like a lifetime ago. Like, I know, it's crazy, isn't it? But I also think that's really nice that I can say that now. Yeah. Same. Yeah. And... Hmm. I think what other situations you've been in. That's what to do I it. genuinely feel like regret for Trish leaving on Friday because I, I, I wish that we 
had like a second chance yeah. that like a friendship mm. you know I know it's, but do you know what like like you and Matthew have really maturely recognised sometimes your friendships do start from like a back foot yeah and there are consequences to that but that can be fixed on the outside but I'm also glad because that is gen- genuinely like the reason I'm still in the house mm-hmm. so like I'm so genuinely chuffed that Thank last you. night <laughs> the Yen Rin and Matty did save me in yeah. the end. And even though they didn't know that's what they were doing, I'm so chuffed that the reasoning that they yeah. chose reflected. reflected my actions. I would have been devastated if you left because for me, I see that you've gone, gone on such a journey. Another game they had to play was about anger and what makes you angry in the house. Now, obviously, a lot of these, again, were muted on the live stream, but Yinrun did have a bit of beef with Jenkin, and she said that he was supposed to make her breakfast, I think it was in the first or the second second episode, not the first, and I don't really think the breakfast ever materialised. I can't remember, did it? If it did, it took ages, but I, I'm not sure it ever did. You can name and shame, it's only us five left. Yeah. yeah. For now. We're all friends here. <laughs> no. Before... One time I was I was so angry. Yeah, I was angry for Jenkin once as well. Just the first time I was already a little bit angry because the first morning he didn't even check what kind of coffee I want. He didn't even check what kind of bread I want for he was supposed to prepare, prepare for my breakfast. I was sitting there in the bedroom alone. Waiting. Back. Waiting. Back. <laughs> you actually? I was actually... Everyone stay here in the living room. But you had to wait because he was I, supposed to cook your breakfast. I, I, I need to have my breakfast in bed. Oh, did they say that breakfast in bed? Oh, my God. Breakfast in bed, but no one was in the bedroom. I was oh. the only one. Get out of the bed. This is the second thing I'm, I was angry about. Third? The third thing was Henry wrecked me as the least entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> We're with you Bastards. on that one. Yeah. We're with you on that one. In the bedroom, we have Noki talking about blind friendship. Some interesting points she raises here about how she felt some people in the house had sworn allegiance, perhaps, to a friend and were not prepared to hear anything negative about that person, which is why perhaps Trish came under so much pressure. Like, their friends in here. That scares me, because I'm like, yes, I can believe that people are friends in here, because I've made friends here that I mm. truly believe are my friends. However, if you can't understand why I would believe Trish's perspective that's different about my perspective on my friend, that makes me think to myself, like, are you just going along with what your friends are doing to protect yourself, or do you truly, like, believe in what they say? Mm. I don't know if that makes sense. No, I do, because I actually have also had, like, an issue from about week three when people were, like, going around, fair enough if this is how they feel, but being, like, my friends, my friends. And I was thinking, but, like, oh, wait. And then I felt, like, a bit demeaned, like, oh, are we, are we not friends? Because I thought yeah. we were building a friendship there. You yeah. Know, like, that sort of yeah. thing. I was like... I've had that. And, like, I don't think... I well, I did. I really was cautious not to be like my friend. I take more the group or the mm. people I hang out with the most because yeah. to say like my friend is like it feels a very like yeah. uh, divisive. Like I really liked Olivia from day one. However, if Trish says she sees something that's a question mark, I respect her view mm. because I know that I've already known her for three weeks. Yeah. So I found it weird when people were like, no, Chanel I know was my saying friend. That yeah. I'm like, I, know, I might couldn't do that. It might not be exactly you think that, yeah. And finally, we'll leave you with something a bit wholesome and lovey-dovey, and that is Yinran and Henry in the kitchen, reaffirming their friendship to one another, and Henry being honest about the fact that he does miss Jordan a lot. This was the final moment in the live stream before it literally cut to ads and was over. So there you go. 
that's what happened last night. Things are really moving on, aren't they? I mean, the live streams are revealing so much now. It's kind of good, but obviously it's going to all suddenly end on Thursday. That'll be the final one, I guess. So enjoy it while it lasts, guys. And enjoy the rain outside. Bye. I just, yeah, I just want you to know. We still, we still can have our settling down yeah. with each other. Yeah. Especially we already found it before. Yeah, absolutely. Even though it was not the... Uh, no, no, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and I really appreciate that. And same to me, if you ever want to speak to me. I'm always, always open, I know, honestly. I know. You're one of my besties in here. I so. know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna go for a walk tomorrow yeah. if we have free time. Yeah, let's again. have a walk. Hundred <laughs> percent. But I'm trying not to let it get to me because I sometimes I, I get know. a bit upset about it. Mm. But then I also think I don't want to spend what's uh, potentially your last I know. few yeah. day or your last couple of days mm. like in here feeling upset or feeling mm. low. Mm. So yeah. And I, I did enjoy the task today, and that kind of cheered me up a bit, and the secret task and everything, that was all good fun. But yeah, no, I miss I miss them a lot. I know. Which is weird, I've never felt, I never felt this way about someone before. Really? About, like, miss, and I, I would never oh. feel like... Yeah, no. I really miss him. Yeah, I really miss him as mm. well. I, and, uh, another thing I'm thinking about is that, I because this is how I feel, this is my world now, I I can't I can't just since I'm here my life is here I can't imagine myself just my mind is not thinking about what's outside now. However, that's why. However, however <laughs> when I lost when Trish left the house, I feel like I lost her. Mm. But actually, I did I did no one lost her. She she's just the track is going different way but we can still see each other because we know friday mm. hopefully we're gonna meet together again and i was trying to persuade myself that i came here alone i leave i left alone it's already a very good fortune i have more support and a bond i made inside the house but i came here alone so even right now i'm not alone i still have my bonds around me so why should I, I should still, we should carry their inspiration, their expectation.